Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina Moyer and I'm an artist. Today's time-lapse video is one of a cute little bird sitting on a fence. And it's on a 4x4 four four inch canvas that's a gallery wrap so it can sit nicely. I've been working on these as a little series for a Christmas sale that's going on right now. Uh, this is November 2021, so <laughs> if you're watching it in the future, do 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 do. So I started by painting the background. Once that was fully, fully dry, I used a pencil crayon to sketch on the bird and the fence and everything, and then I started painting. So did that fence first and then started blocking in the color. Because the bird has some yellow, I might as well not paint the whole silhouette and leave some of the color ready for <laughs> adding another color. Otherwise it'll be hard to add yellow on top of black. So since I have my background similar to those colors, why not work with that? So I started with the black and I blocked out those areas that had the darkest parts of the painting and then I can layer on top of them. When you have a textured area and you're already in the similar color scheme area zone of that, you can just add a kind of textured look when you're brushing. You can keep some of those brush strokes visible. You can kind of see how I've done that with that browny yellow color. And then you can add on top and you've already got some texture in place, which kind of already adds some highlights and lowlights. So you've got the shadows kind of working for you rather than painting a solid block and then painting on top. So I painted a solid block with a black because I'm going to be painting white feathers on top and kind of gray colors. So keep that in mind. Just think about what makes sense in the process. So a lot of the time I'm using this angular brush. It's a quarter inch and it really is good for getting those thin lines. And sometimes I've been using my script liner brush and playing around with both. Sometimes I find the angular one easier to get a straight line because it's already got a straight line on it to start with and then just practicing carefully applying the paint just barely having paint on your brush you don't need much on there but you do want it to be you know you don't want it to be dry so make sure that your paint you're kind of using a good blend of water to paint and if you take a class with me you'll kind of get a better idea of what that's like especially in person I really love to teach in-person classes but I also offer classes on Skillshare which is an online platform and I'm looking to offer some on other platforms as well and maybe we'll do some painting classes live here on YouTube soon so this cute little bird I just loved its position on the fence it's just sitting there so pretty, so cute. And I'm really happy with how it turned out with getting the shadows and, and everything and the textures. Just, I felt like it had a good feeling overall with it. And uh, just a quick shout out to my friend who let me use this photograph. So my friend Trina, she's a, a photographer in Edmonton. So if you wanna follow her on Instagram and see this photograph that she took, you can find it there at Miss Trina Artist on Instagram. The on Instagram is not part of her tech. <laughs> That's just where you find her. So, so grateful to be able to find awesome photographers that are willing to let me paint because I'm an okay photographer, but I certainly don't have excellent photographs of birds to paint from. So <laughs> with that, you can see I'm just fine tuning the details. You got to spend time in this point. You know, it's quick to get the blocking done. Well, it's fairly quick, but it's really getting these fine tuned details, really looking at your reference photo and trusting it. Of course, you have your artistic license to make changes, but if you want it to look realistic, you really need to follow the reference and trust that it's showing you the correct lighting shadows, because if you kind of go off on your own, it will kind of, it won't look quite right. If the photograph looks right, then follow it. And if there's things you need to eliminate to make it look better, go for it. And if you want to try and make changes, that works too. Well, there you go. There's my little bird on the fence. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.